This marks the beginning of our treehouse build. The treehouse will be between the two trees you see here. The span between those is about 13 feet and the plan is to fully support the treehouse from the two trees. So this is one of the treehouse bolts that we'll be using. This is a variation of some of the ones that you'll see online. This particular design, uh, my father-in-law and I came up with just based on the requirements that we had and the size of this particular treehouse. So as you can see, one end is coarse threaded for screwing into the tree. Here I'm drilling out one of the holes for the treehouse bolts. First I used this heavy duty drill bit to get the counter bore into the tree and then I used a 3 quarter inch bit uh, for our case here to get the rest of the hole drilled. Here's one of the brackets used to connect the treehouse bolt to the treehouse floor joists. Go ahead and slide this on. Here's the finished support for the first tree. Have a 2x10 header and 2x8 knee braces, which are tied together at the bottom here with the plate. Here's the support for the second tree. On this one, I had to get a little bit more creative due to the irregular shape of the tree at the bottom here. And each of the knee braces, as you can see, is at a different height. Also, this tree utilizes the sliding brackets at each point to allow this to, to move back and forth with the movement of the trees. I have started installing the floor joist, and this is finally starting to look like a tree house here. Due to the wide span, I had to use 2x10 boards and these are 16 foot length boards to allow for some cantilever over the end here to wrap around this tree and i'm using rafter ties tie those into place uh, similar to what you would have for a deck design 